Imagine that time is ticking down for your long-awaited vacation. You frantically try to finish up your summer wardrobe because you have so many cute dresses planned. You cannot sew fast enough. And then, bam, inspiration strikes. You have a brilliant idea for a twin set. A twin set like this one. You even have the perfect fabric. This one. The only problem is you have to leave the next day and you have like 10 minutes to pack. What do you do? So would you go the same route, put the project away and just uh, continue with your vacation, come back and sew it afterwards? Or would you take the completely ludicrous challenge on to sew this whole piece during your vacation while you're trying to relax? Okay, oops. I guess you know which option I went for. If you want to see if I managed to finish it, managed to wear it even one day of my vacation and managed to ruin my whole vacation with the looming project like this and also cute wild turtle encounter, then keep on watching. Roll the clip. So in the last few minutes before leaving the atelier, I had to think quickly. Okay, so assuming you don't just have a circle skirt laying around, I'll quickly show you how to draft one. Starts with measuring the waist circumference. You need a bit more room actually, so make it wide enough to slide over your booty. It will be scrunched up with a wide elastic and doesn't have any closures. So in this case, let's assume it will be 85 centimeters. To draw out the circle with the correct circumference, you need the radius. There's a handy formula for this, but don't be intimidated by this, you have all the numbers you need. C is the set waist circumference, which is of course 85 centimeters. Pi is basically just a mathematical constant and Google tells me it's this number here. Round it down for the last two digits. And R is the number we're looking for, the radius. And all you have to do is just divide the waist circumference by 6.28. Let me do it right now. And ta-da! We found the radius is 13.54 centimeters. Again, round it to two digits. Alright, let's draw a circle skirt. First, just draw a half circle with the radius we just determined. Don't worry though, it will be a full circle because this pattern piece will be cut on the fold. Measure from your waist to the desired length of the skirt and mark it down like this. Just make sure your fabric is wide enough. Then draw the bigger circle from the same center as the small circle. We're almost done here, but there is one small detail to consider still. The skirt will be on the bias on those two lines, which are at the 45 degree angle at the grain line. This means it will stretch out when the skirt is hanging from your body, resulting in an even hemline. So to counteract this, we shave off 4 cm from the hem on both bias lines. Then we will draw the hemline nicely. Now just add some seam allowances to the piece, which is 1 cm at the waist and 3 cm at the hem. Now fold the fabric, place the pattern piece on the fold and that's it. As for the waistband, this is really quite simple, since it's just a rectangle. The length is again C, the waist circumference. The height of the waistband is really up to you, but if you're using some wide elastic, make sure it's the waistband is high enough for it. Take that height and double it. For example, if you want your finished waistband to be 3 cm high, the pattern piece should be 6 cm high. So the last step is then adding the seam allowance, which is 1 cm all around. Also, it's always a good idea to reinforce it with some stay tape. And don't forget your elastic, it should be not too tight, but tight enough to hold the fabric. As for the top, the pattern is even simpler, it's just a large rectangle. Mine was the full width of the fabric and 30 cm long. And for the strap, cut 4 rectangles of 6 cm times 50 cm, so they are nice and long enough to tie a big bow. I am on vacation, but that doesn't mean that the craftiness stops. It would have been nice to get this assuring done on a machine. I guess that would have saved me a lot of time. What better way to enjoy the scenic place I am in right now? I think I can get some quality hand sewing done. So here we go. halfway through the vacation I kind of ran out of bottoms and decided to finish that skirt already.
that was the skirt but i still had the whole roughly ruffle top to do so no time to take a break or anything like that also motivation was actually there so I just took advantage of the fabric and followed those red lines for the shearing. I've got something on my mind that I need to say with my heart far gone. Love's been hard to find. No summer pretty lover, won't you please be mine? <laughs> Okay, luckily I was interrupted by the most adorable incident I could ever wish for. I hope the turtle was delighted as well. A little turtle, a turtle, it came out of the bush. So cute. I'll give you something. And just like that, the last day of vacation came to be, and I wasn't even done with all the shirring yet, so I really had to step it up a notch. The straps were attached from the inside, showing downwards. Then I flipped them up and secured with another stitch line, basically encasing the raw edge. Yes, this is an end crawling all over my project. Do I care at this point? No. And then it's time to say goodbye to the beach. So we went down to the seaside one last time and I wore my brand spanking new outfit. So that's that. I did manage to make it. I wore it on one day in numbers one. Would I recommend this kind of approach? No. The whole time whilst trying to enjoy your vacation, you still have in the back of your mind this uh, looming project waiting for you. So whatever you want to make, it takes longer than planned. But I'd like to give my former self a piece of advice. Plan your summer vacation accordingly. Plan accordingly. Take a few days off. Take an extra week for the sewing process. And then it will be fine. Yeah, like that's ever going to happen. <laughs> okay, I hope you're still enjoying your summer lovelies. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.